Hey, what's up? It's Sydney. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a collective Shein haul. So I ordered a few things, made a few purchases um, over this past few months, and I've really been enjoying the things that I'm getting and I'm enjoying like finding stuff online and I'm enjoying finding stuff from the website. So although Shein doesn't have the best reputation, I do think that it is super affordable and super trendy. So it is helpful for those of us who don't want to spend or can't spend $50 to $100 per item, but want to try out new types of trends or maybe just want a few staple pieces or a good pair of jeans. They even also have really good accessories almost like a little secret that I don't want to tell anyone, but I'm telling you. Cute bags, cute shoes, cute accessories, and they're all really affordable. Their shoes do go up a little bit to like the $30 to $50 range, but that would hopefully mean that they're quality. Their bags are like a $10 to $50 range as well, and they're very designer inspired, super cute. I only have one right now, but this is a rhinestone one, and it's just super, super cute, super statement piece that you can just use as an accessory. You don't even necessarily need any more accessories, but you could definitely dress it up as well with more accessories. Um, they even have cool socks. If you know me, you know that I love to wear socks with my outfits. So I got these little lacy socks in black and in white for a super affordable price. And like I said, their jewelry is super, super affordable. So I recently ordered these and these are like the Yeezy inspired, kind of ugly, really plain, plasticky, rubbery looking, shower shoe looking <laughs> slides. Um, but you know, I got these for like 12 and they're like over a hundred dollars. For the adidas yeezy version and they look very 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 much like the original and at first i thought this was a little bit big for me but i think i'm gonna keep it i was considering returning them but i think i'm gonna keep them because they are super trendy and i just like the color i love like neutral tones so looking at how close they are to the easy ones i'm like mm, might as well just keep them they were sold out so I can't like exchange them for a size smaller. One thing I will say is they're super, super hot, trendy, really cool clothes tend to sell out pretty fast. So if you see something that you love or that you think is gonna be popular, you might wanna go ahead and purchase it as soon as you can so it's not sold out because things sell out pretty quick on there. Um, another thing I wanna say is a big key to me to finding the best pieces on there is to do a little research and check the reviews of each item. A lot of people leave photos and reviews of the items if they're not brand new, obviously. So I find that to be so helpful. It kind of gives you an idea of how the fit goes, what the material looks like in person, if it doesn't look like the pictures, if it does look like the pictures, if it fits true to size, if it doesn't fit true to size. I found that to be so helpful for me because Shein does have so much stuff. They have kids, men's, plus size, women's, and accessories and stuff, and all types of styles that you can easily check out you know, a couple pages and think that you can't find anything with them. I've seen a couple Shein videos where the people were like, ew, what is this clothes? And I, uh, I feel like it takes a little bit of effort to like make sure that you're getting like what you want, if that makes sense. But I do find it to be very helpful. Most of these things are a size small. A couple pieces are in a medium or an extra small maybe a size four if that is the other type of sizing that the clothing goes by so first we've got this green crop top here it's tied up in the back i think this is really cute i love the cut and the color and then these jeans right here i recently ordered and they're kind of like a straight jean i'm debating exchanging them for like a different style of jeans um they fit pretty much perfectly, but they are a little bit big in the waist here and tight in the thighs. But I do have wider hips and a smaller waist, so it makes sense. But it has some rips down them, super casual, kind of light to medium wash. And I tried these on yesterday and I thought I'm probably going to return them. But looking at them now, I do like them. 
shirt so I don't know also got this shirt right here which is a little small and short for my liking I don't know if it's ever gonna get worn maybe if I have some super high-waisted stuff but I just really wanted it because I loved the paisley print I love the lavender and the white but definitely not the most flattering top definitely not the most supportive I don't know it just looks like an unsupportive bikini top <laughs> um so i don't know about this maybe with a jacket or something right got another pair of jeans here i recently just tried out their jeans and these ones fit pretty good too these ones are kind of long so i'm wearing heels with them and they're like a medium wash and they're high-waisted and flared i really only have like skinny jeans and kind of like straight jeans so it's cool to get some flare jeans back into my wardrobe this top is um, like a navy blue one shoulder top with a little tie up. I love getting crop tops from Shein because they're so inexpensive, but I wear them so often. So my dollar really goes far. Their jeans are like 20 to $30, so they're really affordable. And I would say they're just as good as jeans that you could get from Misguided, Pretty Little Thing, Fashion Nova, etc. But maybe for a little bit cheaper, so I love that. They also have really cool jeans, like jeans with embroidery on the back pockets, rhinestones, pearls, stuff like that. Pretty much every top I get is um, a small, and this one is also a small, but it's a little bit large for me. It's definitely not as cute as it could be. I think if you have a little bit more going on up in the chest, it could be a really, really um, flattering and really cute top but for me it's just loose and it doesn't really like look flattering to me so i might give this away um and donate it but it's still cute you know and i only wasted like eight dollars so <laughs> i've got this long sleeve crop top that says joyful on it and this beautiful periwinkle blue type of color i love this shirt i feel like it's cute kind of a statement piece like you could wear it kind of in a trendy way or you could just wear it like as a workout shirt but i just think it's really cool i love that it says joyful because we're always trying to be full of joy <laughs> and then these sweatpants are really cool as well they're like one of my favorite pairs if they had pockets they'd probably be my favorite but they have a little tie drawstring waist and mesh panels in the thighs so when it is a little bit warm outside these are actually nice to wear because it's a little breezy if it's a little cold it's a little breezy so you might not want to wear this in the nighttime or if it's really cold but it's cool summer nights or fall days you know what i mean <laughs> i just love wearing joggers so this is a very staple piece of mine these joggers actually are a weird material they almost feel like a fancy fabric like i used to own a jumpsuit that had this type of fabric um but it's still comfortable and it's nice and thick and not see-through and i just love the mesh i love the mesh <laughs> all right so i got some denim shorts right here and i was so impressed when i tried these on for the first time they're just a really good pair of denim shorts probably my favorite pair that i have so they're just kind of like lightly distressed denim i'm pretty sure i got these for like 14 bucks and then I also really love this halter top. I love the color, I love the fit, and it's ribbed. And it's just a really like cool shirt to throw on. So yeah, we got that. I also recently ordered this sweater and it's like a Switzerland inspired sweater. So Monte Rosa Dufro Spitz, Switzerland. <laughs> But I just love the color of this. It's like a nice tan color with some chocolate brown writing. And this just is a kind of like designer vibes to me. It feels like an oversized, like fancy sweatshirt. I don't know, <laughs> like polo or something. But the color is amazing. And I got it in a size large. It fits um, a little bit like awkward, but I think with the right outfit especially with like sweatpants or leggings it'll look good um but i also considered pairing this with a tennis skirt i just don't know if like white would look good with it but maybe like a cream colored little tennis skirt would be cute but this is very comfy very soft 
cozy and warm. <clears throat> Got another brown toned crop top. So this one has a crisscross neck and I think it's fun. I actually kind of want to get it in other colors. It looks a little weird right there, but just a cute, fun little summer top. So this is one of my favorite things I've got from Shein. It's like a corset type of top, super tight, structured, wired, cute. It's a little bit tight for me. I did get it in extra small though, so it is like really tight. I also have it in white as well. Um, and I also have it in extra small, but it fit bigger. It was looser, but then at the same time, it busted at the seams, so the zipper broke. So I'm hoping that this one doesn't, but it even feels tighter, so I'm kind of scared. But this looks really good with jeans and shorts, but I paired it with this skirt today. This is a white pleated skirt, kind of like a tennis skirt, but not really. Um, it's really cute, but I would probably wear shorts underneath just to feel a little bit more secure. But it's very cute, flowy, fun. I just really wanted a skirt like this to try to dress up a little bit. I also think dressing it down with a hoodie or a t-shirt and some tennis shoes would be pretty much exactly what I like what I want to do with it. Also have this little like polo inspired crop top so this is actually really cute. Goes totally with the whole vibe. I think some black sneakers or white sneakers or really you could add some color to it would be really cute. I really really like it. Ooh. I also think maybe some type of like casual hoodie sweater would be cool with this so I'm excited to try this out and do a few things. Um, I also think some black boots would be cool maybe with some tights and maybe a black shirt or something if you wanted to go with like the more goth girly vibe <laughs> so there's a lot that can be done here but I'm pretty excited. I think this was like 14 bucks so pretty good for the deals for like what I was looking for. Other websites were selling these and they may have been better quality, who knows, but for more like 40 to 50 bucks. So this is a really inexpensive way to play with the trend that you're not sure about. These are also a couple of my favorite pieces from Shein. So we first got this little white zip up top. I wouldn't really call it like a jacket because it's very like thin ribbed material, nothing super warm, but it does have a zip up in the front and you can adjust it if you want to make it fully closed or you can do the little trendy thing where it kind of shows a little skin. I think it's cool because it's just different to have zippers that do that. <laughs> My favorite thing about this shirt is the thumb holes. That's like my favorite thing about clothes. I love when I find thumb holes. I also love the writing on the wrists. It says pretty girl. So it gives me sweetie vibes. I feel like I just did a little video shoot or something <laughs> and I'm about to like hang out with my friends and get my nails done or something. So I wanna start my own clothing line and specifically make everything have thumb holes. <laughs> but anyways, the pants that I paired these with are some gray stacked sweatpants or ruched sweatpants. So ignore my socks, but it bunches up and kind of ruches up in the leg. It also kind of like ruches up right here in the, in the drawstring. Unfortunately, these aren't adjustable or tight. You can't really tighten the drawstring and it's not the most flattering fit of sweats. I've definitely worn sweats that look a little bit better than this, but I still think that it looks okay on my body. It's not the worst. It's not the craziest crotch or anything like that. I tend to have a lot of like crotchy problems. This one's pretty good and I just love this trend. I'm seeing hoodies with it. I'm seeing even like plaid pants with it and a lot of sweatpants with it. And I just really like it. I think it looks really cool with sneakers. Right, so I have a little bit of a workout, yoga, casual, comfy type of outfit. This is a long sleeve mock neck black top, which I've been finding myself wearing a lot this fall. It's really easy to just layer on with tops. Since it's cropped, it's like, if the shirt's long, it's fine. If it's short, it's fine. And a little bit of that little mock neck comes through. And of course, you also get a little warmth. <laughs> so I've been really loving this. I've been especially love wearing it with this knockoff YSL top. It just 
is cool. These cheetah little workout shorts are really cute. Not the most um, supportive, not the most flattering. I feel like it's kind of loose. So it just doesn't do like the most for me. Doesn't make me look my best, but it's still really cute. I think with black tennis shoes, this is a cute outfit. And like I said, I would wear this just um, like editing videos, working out, or just like hanging out at my house or like maybe a yoga class or something like that. This dress right here is so cute that I kind of want to buy it in other colors. I think they have it in black, maybe red, I'm not sure. But this is a floral dress. It's got one shoulder. It's got a little bit of a ruffle at the bottom. It also has the drawstring little tie-up ruching here so you can kind of make it a little shorter. It's like tight but not super tight. So got a lot of like loose fabric um but still fitted you know and i just think it's really cute really flattering emphasizes the body in a good way so i think this is really cute especially in like fall or spring or summertime i don't know if i'm gonna wear it in the winter but i think maybe with some black thigh high boots some tights and a little white pea coat that would actually be so 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 cute last but most certainly not least we have this white tight bodycon dress it's got a lot of ruching which is the reason why i bought it i don't really love tight dresses so i was kind of scared but this is pretty flattering i'm not sure how like if it looks the most amazing right now but it's just like a nice form-fitted white dress and it feels actually kind of expensive it's like that soft silky dress dress material and i just think this is really cute um dressed down with sneakers and like a t-shirt on top or a hoodie on top or like a plaid thing or something like that if you're still watching this video i really appreciate you please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and let me know that you liked it let me know if you like she in or what your favorite places to shop at are and please make sure that you subscribe before you go i currently am at 96 subscribers we're getting really close to 100 which to me is like the first milestone but anyways go ahead and join the family if you haven't already it would mean a lot to me but other than that i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here so I'm sending you all the love and all the good vibes, and I'll catch you in my next video real soon. Peace out. Bye.